Well, welcome everybody. It's a real privilege and honor to get to talk to you today from here in Seattle. My name is Curtis Koff and I am Chief Digital Officer at REI. So a little bit about me. I've been at REI for two years. I hope many of you are members. And if not, REI is an 80-year-old co-op. We're actually the largest co-op in the U.S., which basically is a fancy way of saying we're owned by our members. And we're known primarily as a retailer in the outdoor industry. I've been in Seattle for 20 years and worked in many companies, including Amazon and Microsoft and Alaska Airlines. And I'm thrilled to get to talk for a few minutes with you today. I think in the spirit of our conversation today and my own work, which I'll talk a little bit about at REI, mission is very important to me. And so in addition to my time at REI, I do a lot of volunteering as probably a lot of you do in your own communities and uh, work for a number of organizations. Probably nearest and dearest to my heart is uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, which I've been involved in since I was a teenager and uh, led the board here in Seattle for a number of years and an amazing organization. So that is a little bit about me. And today I want to talk a little bit about REI, how we think about our customers and interacting with them in the hopes that this might be valuable to you as you think about your own mission in your own business. I think the best starting point for REI is our founder story. We're one of those organizations that is very fortunate to have a founder story that gives all of us uh, a lot of purpose and meaning and even guidance in the work that we do every day. As some of you may know, REI was founded more than 80 years ago by a group of mountain climbers. And they started REI uh, not to make a profit, but to enable a community of climbers to have access to equipment that they needed to climb. And our founders were Lloyd and Mary Anderson. And often, particularly in challenging times like today, I will often think as we face an important decision, what would Lloyd and Mary do? That's led us to our mission today in the next slide. So Lloyd and Mary Anderson started the co-op 80 years ago and the very first product that Lloyd and Mary bought was an ice axe for climbing. In fact, just a little side note, the first CEO of REI was the first American to climb Mount Everest. So talking serious outdoors people. You know, 80 years later, I don't know that Lloyd and Mary could have imagined that REI would have 19 million members. It ends up that the outdoors means a lot to many of us. And our mission has evolved I won't read you know, this word for word here, but I think I'll just say, as we talk a little more about how we run our business and how we make decisions every day, we are different than many of the retailers that all of you interact with. Our mission is to get people outdoors and that guides every single thing we do. So yes, REI is a $3 billion retailer with 150 stores across America. But our mission is to help people live a life outdoors because we think that it will enrich their lives. So to say a little more about that, and just as a side note behind me, you can see Mount Baker National Forest where I was this weekend climbing Yellow Aster Butte. Um, and it was a good reminder to me of why the work we do is so important. So how does that start to manifest itself in a tangible way? Well, as many of you may know, we're a retailer. We, pre-COVID, sold about $3 billion of gear and apparel every year to help people get outdoors. And we're not like every retailer. We have a very curated selection of gear and apparel that is high quality and dependable. And we both sell products from other retailers, and we make our own products that carry the REI brand. I think just as important for us, and maybe for you as well in your business, is not just the products we sell, but the people 
who serve our customers. And if you've been into an REI, you know that our employees wear green vests. And green vest is at REI a mindset. It means expertise in caring for our customer and serving their needs, whether they're going to summit Mount Kilimanjaro or just taking a hike in their local park. The other thing I'll say is because our mission is to help people get outdoors, we do other things that a typical retailer might not do. REI is the largest, second largest publisher of content in the outdoor industry after National Geographic. And we, it's very important to us to really act in a way that makes us accountable for our values. So some of you may know that REI does something that, you know, five or six years ago would have been considered insanity for a retailer, which is we shut our doors on the busiest day, physical retail day of the year, Black Friday. And we do that because we want to send a message about getting outdoors. And in fact, although RAI did not do that to make more money, in the end, that statement of authenticity has stood for something that's even bigger than, you know, 11, 12,000 person company. We publish a magazine, Uncommon Path. I think a really important thing for us, and each of you will have your own way of doing this, um, to show our commitment to the outdoors, REI gives back 70% of its profits. So for every $10 we make, every year seven of those dollars go back to our members through a dividend or to nonprofits to help the outdoors um, and to help people get outdoors. Culture is really important. And I think that is true whether you're you know, a 10,000 person organization or maybe a five person organization we know at REI that there are ways in which we can't compete with an Amazon or a Walmart or a Target or you name it. And we have to do things our way. And so culture has become very important for us. We have awards we give to our employees who are closest to the customer named after Lloyd Mary Anderson, the Anderson Awards, which is the biggest thing we do at REI every year to celebrate the employees who serve our customers. We give our employees days off to get outside because we want our employees to experience what REI is all about. And we have a set of cultural beliefs that we call a co-op way, which is a way of holding us accountable to our values. And these things make us unique. And we believe, particularly through challenging times, like the times we're going through right now, will be the most important thing in getting through it. I'm the chief digital officer at REI. So that means taking an 80-year-old brand that started before the internet existed and making it, translating it online. And particularly now, as you all know, with COVID, digital is accelerating. We're doing many more virtual meetings like this um, at REI, digital went from being about a third of our revenue to, at times, all of our revenue <laughs> to, and we know when things go back to the new normal, whatever that is, it will be a much bigger part of how customers interact with us. So we think a lot about how do we take that green vest expertise and that relationship, how do we translate that online? I think a second thing that is very connected to that is that we think a lot about the fact that we don't just want to have a transaction. I mean, at the end of the day, we're very, all of us are very excited when we have more transactions, more transactions mean more revenue. And if we're managing our business well, it means more profit. But we know at the end of the day that we will not be successful if we are just focused on a transaction. We want to focus on how we build a long-term relationship with our customer. At REI, membership is, is a part of that. But we believe in a world that is so competitive that building that long-term relationship with the customer is key to success.
And so as I talked a little bit about building relationships with customers, and this is so important because as all of you know, we have competitors and probably you do too, who are, might be bigger than us, like an Amazon or a Target or a Walmart, and can do things that are harder for a small organization to do, like deliver things same day or within a few hours, or to have, you know, whatever it is, hundreds of fulfillment centers. And so we know or have the lowest prices. REI wants to have great value, but in some cases we won't have the absolute least expensive tent. Um, and so that's why the things that REI is so focused on are mission giving back to our community, building a relationship, standing for something is so important in the competitive landscape that all of us do business in every day. So a big thing for us and probably you as well during COVID is in the retail world, what we call omni-channel. That's just a fancy way of saying that customers like to interact with us in different ways. When Lloyd and Mary started the co-op over time, our first store was um, in Pike Place Market in Seattle. And at first it was interacting with REI in a store. Now it's interacting with REI in a store and digitally, but we know customers do both. And so that's what the word omni-channel is all about. So we are very focused right now on, for instance, letting the customer order online if that's most convenient for them, but then let them pick up in store because maybe they don't want to pay shipping or maybe they actually want to go in and ask a question or return an item. So enabling the customer to do business with us the way that they want to, whether that's on the website, on a mobile app, in the store, on the phone is important. And Again, you know, as we think about this, we realize we have to deliver great service, however the customer interacts with us. As I said earlier, like any business, we're a retailer, we're seasonal. So we're entering into the snow season. There is uh, snow in my background. That was my first interaction with snow this year, and it was very cold. Fortunately, I had all my REI gear on. But we know we don't just want to be a retailer that is about, you know, the 4th of July sale or the gear up, get out, which is our winter sale. We want to have a year round relationship with the customer. And we think about how can we be relevant to a customer's life, whether they're living in a big city, in an apartment, or whether they're a family who's thinking about camping in their backyard you know, during a pandemic with their kids. We want to build a relationship based on getting to know our customers and what matters to them. So just to wrap this up, and it's been great talking with you. I wish all of you the best of luck in what I know are extraordinary times. When I think about REI and really what's important and enabled us to be successful, it's mission first. It goes back to Lloyd and Mary and why we started the co-op in the first place. And certainly in these challenging times, that mission has meant more to us than ever and has guided the decisions we've made. The quality of our products is so important and our customers count on us for that because we're in that high performance industry where people may be up on the top of the mountain and they have to count on us and in the su sustainability of those products, the way that we can create products that have a minimal or positive impact on the planet is important. And again, we are thinking all the time about how do we serve that mission of helping people get outdoors so it's not just selling a pair of boots, but it might be content about how to choose the right boots, or it might be an interaction in a store, or it might be a class. And then the last thing that I think is will be as important to you as it is to us, I think in a world today 
where there are so many places that do a good job on convenience, how can we build relationships? Because we believe that mission and purpose and having a relationship with brands that you care about and that you know is more important to people than ever. So again, I hope this has been valuable. It's a real privilege to speak to you and I wish you the best of luck. Take care.